aside from being the name of a movie that you've probably seen and, and the uh, obvious, the, the background behind uh, Facebook, the idea of a social network is a specific thing and I want to try to get to that specific thing. Well, let's start by the idea that um, every human being is connected. And what you see here on the screen is a diagram actually of, uh, of my family tree going all the way back to um, our earliest roots in Africa. And what you can see on this diagram is a set of routes that human beings took out of Africa. And what it basically shows, and I think what's been established pretty much beyond reasonable doubt at this point, is that um, we're all connected. Go back far enough, and whether you think it's Adam and Eve or whether you think it's some kind of... Um, uh, you know, hominid in Africa. We've all come from common roots. There is a, there's an obvious and, uh, and ultimate connection between all human beings. But when we talk about a social network, we're not talking about a genetic connection. We're talking about a social connection. So let's take a look at this concept of um, a social network. And we'll look at it in two parts. The first way to look at it is as a network. And so as a network, any network is a, is a collection of connected nodes. The word node is a very specific word we use to describe one unit, one particular part of the network. So a network is a set of interconnected nodes. And um, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the vocabulary around networks in a moment, but I want you to start from this idea that it's a network. It's a set of people. Each person is a node in the network, and all of those nodes are interconnected. How are they interconnected? They're interconnected because you know those other people. So it's, that's the sense in which it's a social network. It's a social network because it's a set of interconnected nodes, those nodes being people, all of whom know each other. All right, now let's get 